Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God, the builder of the church, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We are grateful to him. He has ushered us into a brand new month. We give him all the praise. We give him all the glory. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Please shall we just rise this evening and give him all the thanks for bringing us into a brand new month loaded with blessings from heaven. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. For the Lord is good and his mercies endures forever. Our Father, our God, our Maker, our Lord, we thank you. Blessed be your name forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, you may be seated in God's presence. I welcome you to our special anniversary winners satellite fellowship program. We are grateful to God for ushering us into another new month. Indeed, God has been gracious to us. Hallelujah. Let's just invite the Holy Spirit as we proceed in this very special meeting this evening. Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence again this evening. Lord Jesus, the builder of the church, we give you all the glory. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the blessings you've lavished on us. We give you thanks. And Lord, we ask that in every aspect of this program this evening, let your spirit have preeminence in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody will shout aloud, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are gathered today to celebrate the goodness and the faithfulness of God in our lives and for what we have seen as members of this great family. By His grace, this ministry turns 40 tomorrow. And of course, we know the encounter began from the 1st to the 2nd of May, 1981. So we thank God for all he has done for us. In Psalm 126, from verse 1 down to 3, the Bible says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said the hidden amongst them, The Lord has done great things for them. Indeed, that's been a story, and that will remain a story and testimony forever in the name of Jesus Christ. We are here today to take time to acknowledge and thank God for specific aspects of blessings we've seen as a commission. We want to give God thanks for 40 years of fruitful, impactful, and life-transforming ministry. In Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 19, the Bible says, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God has multiplied us. God has glorified himself in us. And we want to give him all the thanks. I'm sure through this commission, you have notable testimonies, undeniable testimonies of what the Lord has done for you. That's why we're gathered this evening. We'll be saying to him when we rise, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for sending this ark of liberation to us in this generation. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. God planted a vision in the heart of the apostle about this great commission in 1981, and a good number of us today are partakers of the blessings which God has delivered into our lives through this liberation mandate. We'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this act of liberation you send to us in this generation. Lift your voice right now. Give him all the thanks. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this act of liberation you send to us in this generation. 
You are the one that planted this vision in the heart of your son, Dr. David Oyedepo. For that reason, we give you the praise. We give you all the thanks. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord. You saw us in agony. You saw us wasting away. And Lord, you sent your servant to liberate the world through the preaching of the word of faith. Father, thank you for the impact of this mandate in our lives. We give you the praise. You are the one that saw our sufferings. You saw the bondage that the devil had put us in. And Father, you sent your servant to preach the word that has established our liberty, our deliverance, our restoration, our salvation. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Let him hear your voice. Heavenly Father, thank you for planting this seed all in the heart of your son, for sending your son to come to carry out this assignment. We give you the glory in the name of Jesus Christ for sending this act of liberation to us in this generation. My God, my Father, my Lord, my Savior, we celebrate you. We magnify your name. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. We thank you, our Father. Take all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. We'll be thanking our God again for the wisdom that he put in the heart of his servant that has enabled him to build this worldwide ministry. In Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 3, the Bible says, Through wisdom is an house builded, and by understanding it is established. God has established this commission today in different parts of the world by his wisdom. God's servant said when God called him into ministry, he cried out to God for the wisdom of God. And today we can see the proofs in all the operations of this ministry. For that reason, we want to say, Father, thank you for your wisdom at work in your servant and in this ministry. Let's go ahead and give him all the thanks. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your wisdom at work in the life of your servant that has enabled him, that has empowered him, that has made it possible for this ministry to spread and flourish all over the world. Father, we thank you today for your wisdom at work in this ministry. The Bible says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask from God who gives to all men liberally and it shall be given unto him. Thank you for releasing your wisdom to your servant. Thank you for the effect we can see with our eyes. Thank you for your wisdom you give to your servant. Indeed, wisdom is the principal theme. The Bible says, get wisdom with all thy getting, get understanding. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your grace. Every house is built by wisdom wisdom and by understanding it is established. You have established this ministry by your wisdom. You have established our operations by your wisdom. You have established every arm, every department of this great ministry by your wisdom. Heavenly Father, you are the source of wisdom, the only wise God. We give you the thanks. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you adoration. Thank you, our God, for your wisdom that has enabled your servant to build according to your plan, according to your pattern. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Today, we are taking our time to count our blessings and name them one by one. Time will not allow us to explore all the aspects and areas that we desire to thank him for, but we shall take time to itemize some very specific aspects of the hand of God at work in this commission and giving him glory for all he has done. And as we keep doing that, the glory will keep changing from one level to the other in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll be saying, Father, thank you for your hand upon all the operations of this commission. Thank you for your hand. When the hand of God came upon Elijah, he outran the chariot of Ahab. We want to thank God for his hand that has brought about peace, brought about quietness, brought about increase, brought about multiplication. Isaiah 25 and verse 10, the Bible says, For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord of hosts rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dunghill. We want to thank God for his hand. That's been our experience. He has subdued all our enemies in every part of the world. We'll be saying, Father, 
Thank you for your hand upon all the operations in this commission. Shall we go ahead and give him all the thanks? Father, we want to thank you again. Thank you, your hand that has been upon this commission. We thank you for your mighty hand. Accept the Lord, build the house, the labor in vain that build it. Accept the Lord, keep the city, the watchman wicked but in vain. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mighty hand. For upon this mountain shall the hand of the Lord of hosts rest. No one can deny that your hand is upon this great commission. No one can argue that your hand is upon this great commission. No one can reject the fact that your hand is upon this great commission. Therefore, today we say thank you, our Father. Oh yes, as members of this great family, we have come to recognize, we have come to acknowledge, we have come to appreciate your mighty hand resting upon this commission, subduing all our enemies, opening doors in every part of the world. Father, we thank you today. We give you all the praise it is your doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. Everybody give him all the thanks. Heavenly Father, we thank you again. Lord, we thank you today for your mighty hand resting upon this commission. We thank you, Lord. We are not ashamed to be identified with you, Jesus. Your hand is evident. Your hand is undeniable. Your hand is palpable. Father, thank you. We give you the thanks. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you adoration for your mighty hand that has subdued all the forces of the wicked risen against us. Take all the glory. Take all the praise. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. Be thou exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And all the winners will yet shout aloud, Amen. We will be thanking our Father again. I will be saying, Father, thank you for the lives and destinies you have molded through this great commission. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. God gave his servant a mandate of the word of faith. <laughs> and by the word, destinies have been molded. Lives have been transformed, including your own life. We want to thank the Lord. We'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the lives and destinies you have molded through this great commission. Father, thank you for the lives and destinies you have molded through this great commission. Let's go ahead and give him all the praise. Father, again, we want to thank you for every life you have remolded, every life you have repackaged, every life you have remolded, every life you have repackaged, every life you have redecorated. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the lives and destinies you have molded through this commission. Battered lives have been remolded. Battered marriages have been remolded. Battered businesses have been remolded. Heavenly Father, today we thank you for remolding the lives and destinies through your word. We give you all the praise. The word you put in the mouth of your servant you have employed to change the stories of men and women. For that reason, today, we say thank you, our Father. Let him hear your voice where you are. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise for every life you have repackaged, for every life you have reshaped, for every life you have remolded. Our God, our Father, take all the praise. The God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, receive all the glory. We give you the thanks and the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, you may be seated in God's presence. We'll be thanking our Father in this manner. We'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the amazing testimonies of healing, deliverance, and restoration of all kinds in our midst. In Mark chapter 16 and verse 20, the Bible says, And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. We want to say, Father, thank you for the amazing testimonies of healing, deliverance, and restorations of all kinds. As we proclaim the word from time to time, the Holy Ghost backs the words he has put in our mouth, thereby bringing testimonies, miracles, healings, causing them to occur repeatedly in all our gatherings. We want to thank our God. We'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for amazing testimonies of healing, amazing testimonies of deliverance, amazing testimonies of restoration of all kinds in our midst. Let's go ahead and give him all the thanks, everybody. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the testimonies of healing. You have caused the lame to walk. You have caused the blind to see. You have caused the dumb to speak. 
You have caused the barren woman to be a joyful mother of children. You have caused the jobless to become employers of labor. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. Every testimony recorded in our camp, every testimony you have given, we thank you, Lord. The Lord was walking with them, confirming the words they proclaim with signs and wonders following. Thank you for every testimony. Thank you for the testimonies of healing. Thank you for the testimonies of deliverance. Thank you for the testimonies of restoration. You have done all things well, our Father. Receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. Receive all adoration. We are gathered today to acknowledge your hand. We are gathered today to celebrate your goodness. We are gathered today to appreciate your kindness. Father, every miracle, we give you the thanks. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you adoration. Thank you, our Father. You have not put us to shame. No one has had the privilege of asking us, we are now is your God. We give you the thanks and praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll be thanking our Father again. We'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the success of all our operations on the mission fields worldwide. By the grace of God, I've seen this operation in West Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, North America, South America, Australia, by his grace. And in every location, God has been backing the operation. Doors open to us. People are willing, eager, ready to be a part of what is what the Lord is doing through this great commission. We want to thank him. We want to thank him. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. That's been our story. From the place where it began to all over the world. We're saying, Father, thank you for the success of all our operations on the mission fields worldwide. Thank you for the success of all our operations on the mission fields worldwide. The Holy Ghost is the one responsible. Let's rise and speak to the Lord and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the success of all our operations on the mission fields worldwide. In Africa, all over the world, in North America, in South America, in Australia, in Asia, we give you the praise. Father, thank you for the success of all our operations in Europe. We say thank you for the success of all our operations worldwide. Thank you, Lord, for the things you are doing on all the mission fields. We thank you, our Father. We thank you, our God. We thank you, our Maker, for the success of all our operations worldwide. Father, we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. It is the power of God unto salvation. We have seen you demonstrate your power on every mission field. We have seen you reveal your glory in every location where we are found. Father, thank you. Take all the glory. We thank you for the success of all our operations on the mission fields worldwide, all over the world. Your power cannot be denied. We say thank you, our God. We say thank you, our Father. We say thank you, our Lord. Thank you for the success of all our operations. Let him hear your voice. Give him all the thanks. Father, thank you for the success of all our operations all over the world. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear your loud amen where you are? Now we'll be thanking our Father and we'll be saying to him, Father, thank you for the continuous supplies of resources to this great commission. I was reading a book written by Kenneth Copeland some time ago and he said when God called him into ministry, one of the biggest challenges he had was finances. And that's why he took his time to study the word and got connected to other men of God that knew how supplies come. And that was how God bailed him out. In this commission, we have an identity that cannot be denied. We have been called the prosperous people, the rich people, the rich church. Jesus has made it so. We want to thank him because he's been the one supplying. In Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19, But my God shall supply all your need 
according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply. He said, when I sent you without pause nor script, lacked ye anything, and they said, Lord, we did not lack anything. Glory to God. That's been our testimony. We'll be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for continuous supplies of resources to this great commission. Rise to your feet and speak to the Lord. Father, thank you for continuous supplies of resources, financial resources. Thank you, our God. We give you all the praise for continuous supplies, human and material resources. Our Father, our God, we thank you for the consistent, for the ceaseless supplies of resources to this great commission, building churches without difficulties, sending missionaries out without struggles. Every bad neko bradiano talade. We give you the thanks and the glory. Father, thank you for the continuous supplies of resources to this great commission. We thank you, our Father, because the earth is yours, the fullness thereof, the world and all they that dwell therein, the cattle in a thousand hills, they belong to you. The silver is yours. The gold is yours. That's why we are thanking you. You have been causing them to flow in our direction. You have been causing them to flow into our assemblies. You have been causing them to flow into the hands of your people. Father, we say thank you, the regulator of the riches of the earth. We thank you that this distributor of the riches of heaven. We thank you, Father. Thank you for ceaseless supplies. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You are the one that opens the hearts of the people to lay down their treasure. We say thank you, our Father. It is not in our preaching. It is not in our eloquence. It is the working of the Holy Ghost. We say thank you because my God is the one that supplies all our needs according to his riches in glory. Therefore, receive the praise. Receive the glory. Receive the honor, receive adoration. We thank you, our Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, please you may be seated in God's presence. Our hearts are filled with joy, and that's why we're giving him praise and thanks. We'll be thanking the Lord for light, for insight, for revelation. He keeps granting to his servant. Every time he comes to minister, there is always a fresh word from heaven. God has been the one showing him the things he needs to communicate to the church. We want to thank God for light, for insight, for revelation that the Lord has granted to his servant since inception. The Bible talks about Peter, how he got to know Jesus from a different level. Matthew 16 and verse 17, after Jesus had asked his disciples, who do men say I am? And Jesus answered and said to Peter when he said, the right thing. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it to thee, but my Father which is in heaven. God is the one that reveals secrets to us by his Holy Spirit. First Corinthians 2.10, but God has revealed it to us by his Spirit, for his Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. That's why I want to thank him for revelation. We'll be saying, Father, thank you for revelation and insight. You have granted to your servant since inception. Rise and speak to the Lord, everybody. Father, we thank you again. The secret things belong to you, but those things that are revealed, they belong to us and to our children forever. Father, thank you for revelation. Father, thank you for light. Father, thank you for insight. Father, thank you for understanding from your word that you have been giving to your servant at all times. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You said to Peter, flesh and blood had not revealed this to you, but my Father, which is in heaven. Thank you for the walking of the Holy Spirit, opening his eyes to see. Thank you for the walking of the Holy Spirit, guiding him to locate the word that will bring about explosion, opening the eyes of your servant to to see, granting your servant insight and revelation. Oh, we say thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory for the secret things belongs to you. But those things that are revealed, they belong to us and to our children forever. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Thank you for light. Thank you for revelation. Thank you for understanding. We give you the thanks and the praise. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Finally, we want to thank God for his hand of protection and preservation over the entire members of the winner's family. In Psalm 105 verse 39, the Bible says he spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light in the night. When they were coming out of the land of Egypt, 
he spread a cloud for a covering over them and fire to give light in the night. God has been the one watching over every member of the winner's family worldwide. For that reason, I want to say, Father, thank you for spreading your cloud of protection over the entire winner's family worldwide. Father, thank you for spreading your cloud, for a covering, your cloud, your canopy, your shield of protection over the entire winner's family worldwide. Let's speak to the Lord again. Rise to your feet and speak to our Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you again. In the name of Jesus, thank you for spreading your cloud of protection over the entire members of the winner's family worldwide. Our God, our Father, our Lord, our Savior, thank you for spreading your cloud of protection over every member, over their families, over their businesses. Oh yes, everything that pertains to them. You have been the one keeping them, the keeper of Israel, the one that never sleeps nor slumbers. Father, thank you for spreading your cloud of protection over the entire members of the winner's family. Father, today we've come to acknowledge, we've come to appreciate you. Thank you for watching over your servant, over his family, over the members of the winner's family worldwide. Take all the glory, take all the praise. Take all the honor. Lift your voice and give him all the thanks wherever you are. Everybody go ahead and give him all the thanks. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise for accepting our thanksgiving. Give him all the praise. Father, we thank you. Oh, yes, give him all the praise. Lift up your voice where you are. We give you all the thanks. We give you all the praise for out of them that proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. Let him hear your voice. We bless your name. We give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. In Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 19, the scripture we read before, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. Then I'll greatly multiply them, they shall not be few, and I'll glorify them and they shall not be small. We're giving God thanks today for all he's been doing for us. God's multiplication agenda for you as if person and as a family shall be established in the name of Jesus Christ. It will multiply your business. It will multiply everything that pertains to you. His hand will rest upon all that he has appointed for you this month in the name of Jesus Christ. And the glorifying power of the Holy Ghost shall be your permanent experience from today in the name of Jesus. Glory talks about he makes you more beautiful. Just like a woman who is getting ready to get married on her wedding day, well decorated. That is the kind of picture that you reflect in all departments of your life. You believe it, say loud, amen. You believe it, say loud, amen. Now give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. And you may please be seated in God's presence. Before we close this evening, please remember to personally create time or you gather the members of your family to celebrate the blessings of God upon your life. Since you joined this commission, give him quality thanks and praise for his goodness. I'm sure God has done something great for you. So give him thanks. That will set the stage for the next phase of glory that he has packaged for you as we step into our promised land. Your life will never remain the same again. Your life will become a bundle of testimonies. Everyone that used to know you before, when they see you, they will see what the Lord has done for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, remember... Tomorrow, Sunday, shall be the first lap of our special 40th anniversary Thanksgiving service. And the time is still 8 a.m. The program shall be transmitted live on Citizen TV. Therefore, invite your friends and family members to be a part of it. Then the main event kicks off on Monday at 9 a.m. The ninth session shall be transmitted live on Goshen TV at 9 p.m. The main event kicks off on Monday at 9 a.m. The night session shall be transmitted live on Goshen TV. Please take full advantage of it so that you come under the cloud of the blessing and God will be moving you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Get set for it. Life shall never remain the same again. Hallelujah. Now let's rise. Lift your hand and give him all the thanks, everybody. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him adoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your hand rest upon your precious people afresh. Let your glory rest upon them afresh. Let the blessings of this 40th anniversary celebration find full expression in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. Now together we share the goodness in fellowship. Come on, surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. You are blessed. 
In Jesus' name, peace. It's my honor and privilege to invite you to our special service this Sunday. This Sunday, 2nd May 2021, Winners Chapel International Nairobi celebrates the 40th Anniversary Prophetic Feast Special and Thanksgiving service as we broadcast live from Faith Tabernacle Altar, Lagos, Nigeria with Bishop Dr. David Oyedepo. It shall be an awesome experience and everyone should endeavor to be a part of it. Live on Citizen TV from 8 a.m.